Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should. And all that's well, cause I'm gonna dwell on everything. Good news, hallelujah. When you can open up the paper and you can find things that's kind of down and out, or turn on the television to the, the news channel and you don't like what you hear. I want you to know that you can take comfort in the Word of God tonight because it is good news and we need to grasp this good news. We need to take hold of the Word of God and we need to persuade men to follow the Lord. I want to follow the Lord because I know that there's nothing out there that's going to fulfill me like the Lord can. Hallelujah. I know that He is the way, the truth, and the life. And I guarantee you Paul knew that. And that's why he was trying to persuade. He knew when we think of Paul and his testimony, he was even persecuting the church at one time and even putting Christians to death. But God and His great love got a hold of Saul and changed him into Paul and transformed his life and there he is persuading men to follow the Lord. Yes. How many know even when we find ourselves just as Paul in the scripture persuading men to follow Jesus Christ sometimes isn't always the easy task. It's not always a thing that's the popular thing because if it was this church would be packed we would have to have uh, the walls removed and make it bigger but we can see that we are living in the last days and there are people that need to come to know Jesus Christ yes. Amen. Lord. it says in this scripture that even while he was persuading them to come to him or to come and try to persuade them into following Jesus Christ he got so upset because they blasphemed and they turned away and he said, well, he goes, I'm leaving this place. He goes, your blood will be upon your own heads. That's one thing we've got to know. When you hear the gospel of Jesus Christ and you have heard it, you will have to give an account for it one day. Boy, what a wonderful opportunity. If I think of someone, and there's plenty, there's even multitudes in this nation that never have heard the gospel. They don't have a clue. That's why it's so important that we don't stay silent. We don't stay silent because it says here in this scripture, and you can imagine he probably felt kind of down and out. There's been times when I brought forth the word of God and I felt the power of God as I brought forth the word of God. But you know what? I didn't really see what I wanted to see come forth from what I preached. And it kind of kind of brought me down low. God, Lord, what does it take? I kind of felt like Paul. But each time, just as in this scripture, the Lord showed up. Hallelujah. He will show up and He will give us the strength that we need that we won't give in and we won't give up and we won't turn aside, but we'll keep our eyes on Him and we'll keep persuading men to follow the Lord. Because He came to Him. Jesus. This was Jesus. Because here in the words of red, the Lord came to Paul and He told him in a vision. Do you ever, you know, come on now, think about it. In a vision, I can't say that I've had a, a vision. I pray God will give me those gifts. I, I think that it should be the church's desire and it should be our heart's desire that God would reveal Himself to us and show us His glory. I want you to know we were talking about that the other night. You know, we, we came home from church Sunday night and we turned on the football game and there were thousands. They said 90,000. 90,000 people watching men throw a ball. Come on. And I thought, dear God. I said, dear God. I thought, Lord, your glory. Well, Bill Arthur said, he goes, his glory goes 
way far beyond that. Amen. Way far beyond that. Hallelujah. I'll take the Lord's glory and His power in my Hallelujah. life. Hallelujah. I'll take Him to reveal Himself to me in a vision or in a dream. And even sometimes that's what I say, Lord, if it takes that, Lord, give them dreams, give them visions. But Lord, don't let them be lost without you, Lord. He, the first thing that Jesus said, the Lord said to Paul was, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I am with you. Hallelujah. And there are times when we can face it. And I'll even say when I first stepped up here and began to preach and I felt the power of God. And even after I was finished, I had to say, God, I can't do this on my own. I need you. I like what David prayed in Psalms 27. The Lord is my light. My salvation. Hallelujah. The strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Yeah. That means we have nothing to fear. Hallelujah. We don't have to turn. We don't have to wonder. We know that He is there. And He will see us through. We don't have to have fear. God is not given us the spirit of fear but of love and power and a sound mind yeah. hallelujah yeah. Yes. thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor the error that flies by day I, I remember the Lord as I was praying as Sam was in surgery and things weren't going so great as they had to take him back in opening back up and I fell asleep and I know it was God. I didn't, I had my Bible there, but I didn't have it open to Psalms 91. And when I woke up in the middle of the night, I began to read it. It was just there. And that whole scripture was just, it was for, for us at that moment in that time. And I knew that God was going to see everything through. Everything was going to work out because no matter what comes our way, no matter what that seems like is going wrong, God is there and He is keeping us. And we don't have to be afraid. We can take refuge in Him tonight. Yes. Amen. Because He gives us His peace. Where would we be tonight without the peace of God? The peace that He gives that passes all understanding. Yeah. When we don't understand things or can't try to figure things out, we know that He gives us that peace. Mm. He sustains us. He said, don't be afraid. He said, but speak. If there's one thing, I want you to be encouraged tonight to continue to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't be silent. Don't turn uh, away and say it's it's just it's no hope. There's no way. I'm here to tell you. And in, in this scripture, as Jesus proclaimed it to Paul, we need to speak the truth. Hallelujah. Yes. This is the truth tonight. And it's the only thing that will set men free. It's the only thing that's going to set you free. The Lord will encourage us to continue doing what we're doing. As Sam says, keep on trucking. we got to keep on trucking. we got to keep on taking it one day at a time, sweet Jesus. Yes. Knowing that He will be with us if we keep proclaiming it as in Isaiah. What a powerful scripture. Scripture 61 to proclaim liberty to the captives. To the opening of the prison to them that are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. We need to know that God is ever before us. Amen. And we will keep on telling it. We will keep on speaking it. Hallelujah. In Romans 10, 8, it says, The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in, and in thy heart. Boy, that's where we need it to be. Yes. What did David say? Lord, hide it in my heart that I might not sin against you. 
Lord, let us, let us keep it in our heart and then it's going to come flowing out of our mouth because the abundance of the heart, the mouth, speaks. Let, it, let us speak the Word of God in faith. The Word of faith which we preach, which we proclaim to a lost and a dying world. Hallelujah. And hold not thy peace, for I am with thee. I want you to know if there's a promise you can stand <laughs> upon tonight is to know that the Lord is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He is there in your situation. What you're going through, all you have to do is to lean upon His Word. Because it says in 2 Peter 3, 2 Peter 3, 9, the Lord is not not slack concerning his promises as some men count slackness that means what you think men God is never going to let you down man might let you down man might let you down your friend might let you down but I can guarantee you you can bank on the word of God tonight and know that it is a promise hallelujah yeah. it's been tried and true and he's going to be with you Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Having these promises is what it says in Corinthians. I was these precious promises. We need to hold on tight to these promises. To know that no matter what we face or what we go through, that He's going to protect us. He's going to see us through as we were sharing in the service Sunday. That protection, that shield, that hovering. Hallelujah. He will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. He is our refuge in the time of the storm and the, fear, the fierce waves that come and beat up against us in this life. We can take refuge in Him. Hallelujah. A very present help in the time of trouble. Yes. And also grace to help in the time of need. Do you have a need tonight? Amen. Who has a need tonight? Come on, lift it up to the Lord. Let Him see. Lord, i got a need. I have a situation. But I know in the time of need, there is grace. Your grace is sufficient for me. And you will see me through that protection that we need. Hallelujah. I believe in the blood of Jesus Christ tonight. I know that I am blood bought. Hallelujah. He has saved me and cleansed me. And I'm thankful. Hallelujah. That I'm covered. And the enemy can't come through that blood. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The blood. Hallelujah. That will keep us from the enemy. Praise God. We can have fellowship and we can know that He will sustain us. And it says, And no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. Hallelujah. I want you to know that's why we need each other tonight. We need to know that if we're going through something, there's been times when I've been going through something and I just needed a brother, another Christian believer to pick up the phone or to go to them and pray and believe that God would uh, move in this situation. Amen? Amen. We need each other. The Holy Spirit will lift our spirit. And He will remind us of the strength that is in our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes. You know, there's been times where I've come to church and just by someone else's testimony, what a wonderful testimony, Brother Sam. That was just wonderful. Even in the times of when we lose loved ones or we face sorrow, he is there. Amen. And we can find strength. Yes. And we can find peace. You, when someone else tells what they're going through, you can say, hey, I'm not alone in this thing. I know that there are others facing times of discouragement or times of sorrow. And I know that I can make it through because I know He's helping my brother and He's helping my sister. Yes. 
says stir it. And he's not going to leave me. Hallelujah. He's going to sustain me. Hallelujah. There is much people in this city. Hallelujah. We might be small, but we are great in God. Hallelujah. We are big in Christ Jesus tonight. And we can take refuge. And we can know that He will be there for us. Can you say amen tonight? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's stand in His house tonight. I want to just say praise God for His goodness. His sweet spirit. His comforting spirit that has been here tonight. Hallelujah. And I just want to say thank you for taking the time to come into the house. Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should.